Thank you for inviting me to Project Pitch It. Moguls, are you aware that only one in 10 stolen boats are ever recovered? That the cost of a fully rigged fishing boat can approach $100,000? My name is Brian Fox, and after experiencing vandalism in my home marina, I invented Angler Armor, the only all digital patent pending boat alarm designed specifically for tournament style fishing boats. Just how innovative is my design? Let me just say it won't be patent pending much longer. Angler Armor solves three major issues for the end user by providing ease of installation, no pairing or programming of any kind, and security by using a layered approach to monitoring your boat. If your boat does leave the geofenced area, Angler Armor will send real-time tracking and notifications to your smart device. Over the last three years, I've taken my idea from a concept to a retail-ready product while attracting the attention of professional fishermen who as influencers will help to market the alarm. Angler Armor is ready to provide peace of mind and security to fishermen and boat owners everywhere. I need your help taking it to the next level by providing mentorship, marketing, and investment. Help me land my personal best with Angler Armor and hook a crook. Thank you, I'll be happy to answer your questions. Did you have a boat that was stolen? I did not. I have a boat that I keep in the local marina, a pleasure boat, and one of my neighbors was vandalized. So I set out, I've always had a love of electronics, I set out to build an alarm system. My brother, who is an avid bass fisherman, fishes tournaments, asked me, could I take that alarm idea and turn it into something for a bass boat because there is nothing like it on the market. So three years ago, I started on that journey. So how much would, if we had a boat, we needed protection, how much would one of these kits cost? Right now, my retail price is $399, but I've only built 20 alarms to kickstart my idea. Once I build more and I scale it, that cost could come down and then consequently my retail cost would also come down. So your, your goal is twofold. You want to prevent or limit, limit damage and then the next level you want to prevent somebody from actually heisting the boat, huh? Correct. You know, according to Boat US, 76% of all stolen boats are less than 26 feet in length. They have an outboard motor and they sit on a trailer. Well, if they're on a trailer, we've provided the means to transport the boat away. So you would have a monthly subscription fee with this as well? There is a monthly subscription fee. It runs off of cellular connectivity, correct. So it's monitored. So that we can make the connection from your phone to the cloud to the alarm. And is the bass boat, because it's in a tournament, that, that would the offering would be for that specific type of a boat or could work for any type of a boat or a pontoon boat or a recreational right. boat? Here, the best way I can answer that for you is, is that you have to think of Angler Armor as a platform product. Okay. My design will allow me to take this hardware and just by making some subtle changes in my firmware, the list really becomes what can't I monitor. So you can expand, expand wherever. Yeah. I could take that hardware and I, do you have a gun safe at home? Do you have an RV? Do you have a fishing shack that you well, put on Lake exciting. Winnebago? You name it, I could put it in there. I could read temperature, humidity. I mean, it's really, it's a, a wide open market for It's me. a great name and slogan, by the way. I think it's excellent. Thank you. Could, could this become part of original equipment? Take a company like Brunswick? For sure, yeah. Would, would they be interested in basically having an option for a, a boat owner to put this system into an original equipment boat? I, I certainly hope so. <laughs> I mean, that, that would be a great, great thing for me. So you have really interesting technology. You've got IP protection. What's your plan with the business? Do you want to turn into a manufacturing company where you're offering multiple different product designs and actually the product? Or are you, do you, are you going to be an engineering company that's going to sell off and license your technology? I mean, right now, uh, I'm uh, wide open to any ideas. You know, I'm, I'm really in my infancy. Even though I'm three years down the road, I do have a product to sell. I'm really a drop in the bucket right now. So I'm open to anything. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Yeah. I appreciate it. Love it. Thank you. Thank you very much.